Let's get it! What's up, VFAM? Your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with another video. And today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some simple changes that you could make to your Shopify store to increase the conversions. Now, now, I get tons of messages day in and day out of a lot of people asking me like, hey, I have my Shopify store set up. Can you have a look at it and give me some feedback? I do respond to as many of you guys as I can. So I do review some of you guys' store. I can't do everybody all at once, but I do try to get back to you guys. You know, for anyone that wants to me to, you know, review your store, drop a comment with the name of your store on this video and I'll be picking one of you guys in another video. I'm gonna go through uh, a few of the changes that obviously I, to me, seem like very basic changes, but I guess it's because I'm in the trenches day in and day out and, you know, I'm obviously always looking out for these things when it comes to my stores that I run right now because it looks like uh, a lot of you guys aren't really you know, doing these simple things to your Shopify stores and it is causing you guys to lose out on, you know, sales and conversions. Now, when it comes to, you know, making changes to your Shopify store, again, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. A lot of the things I'm probably gonna go over, there may be some things that you guys are already used to or you may have already heard or you may have already done. You know, the things that I'm sharing with you guys are things that I've already tested on other stores, other people. You know, we, shen, we tend to share you know, different strategies that's working for us. These are strategies that we've actually learned from our mentors and we've implemented again in our into our business and have worked for us. So that's why I'm actually taking the time to show you guys these exact same strategies. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your website is mobile optimized. And this is a huge mistake that a lot of people don't do because they only focus on really fixing up their website only for the desktop version because that's what they're looking at. They're not thinking about the consumer on the other end of the screen. So 1.2 billion people on the internet are on mobile, specifically smartphones, and that is a fact. You guys can look it up on Google, Yahoo, Bing, wherever you wanna search it up. Don't you guys think if there's 1.2 billion people on the internet and they're shopping specifically on their phones, you know, you should have your, your website mobile optimized well you know, believe it or not, there's a lot of people that don't think so. So obviously, obviously a lot of you guys that are watching are here to get better day in and day out on your business. So obviously this is one of the things that you wanna make sure you're looking out on your website. The next one is the behavior, you know, that people have online is way different on desktop compared to how it is on mobile. Mobile and desktop, it's completely different, right? When people are browsing on the desktop, they usually have more time, they're at home, they're in an office, and you know, they have a lot more time, so they can deal with a lot of, like, a lot of things like, you know, a lot more text, they can read the full description that you have on your website, you know, they can watch long videos. If you think about it, I mean, people, from the morning, people are commuting to work, people are on breaks, people take lunch breaks, they're hanging out with friends. Now, these are more activities where people get the chance to be on their phone, so of course, they're more likely to be on their phone. The last point I wanted to make is that mobile users buy more, and again, this is based on statistics, you guys can look it up. One of the reports that Shopify dropped last year was saying how a lot more people were buying online, obviously on mobile, than they were on desktop. So again, all facts. Facts, 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 facts. You wanna make sure that when you're driving all this traffic to your store, you're making, you know, you're taking advantage of it and you're getting the full benefit, you know, of obviously your hard earned money to get all the traffic to come to your store. Now, if you have a way to get free traffic, you know, let me know. Obviously, there is some people that recommend some different ways, but obviously, there's nothing that can compare with paid traffic because you can actually have more control over it. To kind of get down to the ways that you can actually optimize your website to be a lot more mobile friendly, one of the first things you guys can do is make sure your logo is sized correctly. And the reason why you can do that is because when it comes down to you know shopping online, uh, it's all about the space and the real estate, which is basically the layout of the website and everything where everything is at that determines a lot of key things. So the reason why you wanna make sure first thing off the back that your logo is sized correctly is because if it's not, let's say if your logo, you know, is obviously way oversized, you know, when you well, first get to the website, your logo is gonna take up, you know, obviously a good portion of the top section of the website. And if you think about it, on our home screens, if we have a logo that let's say is taking up this much size on our screen, we don't have much you know, much space left over where we can show our customers different things on our websites, different products, different offers, things like that. So again, you wanna first start off off the back, make sure that of course your logo is set up correctly on your desktop, but on your mobile, it's also, you know, obviously optimized so that it's not taking up as much space. That way you can use the rest of the space for other things. I get tons of messages and when I open them up and I see these people's stores, I don't know what's going on, man. I mean, some of the sometimes I get people that send in where their store and their logo is taking up, you know, almost half of the page, and that's a huge mistake. So make sure you guys aren't doing that. The next one is you want to make sure all images are sized correctly to fit the screen. And what I mean by that is when you guys 
again, are looking at the site, make sure that you're not using extremely big images to display your products, display collections, uh, display your banners, uh, your any offers you're having, things like that, because you want it to be able, you want to be able to show as much as possible on your screen. You know, so obviously if you're using huge images for everything, it's gonna limit how much you can show, you know, at one time. It's been proven that once people land on a website, you know, they, they mainly focus on what's on the first part of the page. We don't have much attention span, right? So obviously if it's harder for us to find other offers or if it's not easy for us to see different offers that you have and if we have to scroll down and do all that, you know, anything can happen where we, we can lose you know the focus that we have on the website and you know pay attention to something else so you want to make sure that again the images are optimized and that they're made to fit the screen correctly and there's an easy way you can do that on shopify itself every time that you're making uh, changes to your theme it actually gives you the option to check out uh, check it out on desktop and also check it out on mobile so it's super simple to do that too so is you want to make sure you're utilizing all the white space in the screen and what i mean by that is I've seen people's websites where they have the logo set up, they have a banner and product, but then at the bottom, there's space that they don't use it for. You have to scroll down and then it gets down to the collections and it shows you the rest of their offers and the rest of their website. That's a huge mistake. You wanna make sure you're utilizing as much of the page on mobile as you can. You wanna make it very easy for people to see what's going on, on your website, what you have to offer. It's very easy for them to see and they like what you have to offer. They're gonna make a decision, right? You're gonna have some people that have to scroll down and see the rest of your website to make a decision, but you're gonna have people that come on there, they're ready to buy. So you wanna make sure that it's very easy for them to see what you have to offer. You wanna make sure on mobile, you don't have your pop-ups showing. So if you're trying to collect emails, not a big deal that's actually obviously i recommend i'm actually going to show you guys a way that you can collect emails a lot more effectively so you got to think about when people come to your website how can you grab their attention quickly and effectively so don't have pop-ups because it slows down your website uh, make sure that your website loads quickly that is huge there's actually multiple different websites you guys can use to basically do an analysis on your website to see if how fast it's loading and if there's anything that's delaying your website and usually they'll let you know like hey this is what's slowing on your website if you change this this will actually speed up your site and usually these websites are free another way you can be effective with your website and your Shopify store is by changing the way you get emails if you already have it so a lot of people know that a lot of people utilize this 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 pop-up to get emails right but when it comes down to it those pop-ups there's people that <clears throat> spend so much time on the internet that they see a regular pop-up and they automatically ignore it you want to make sure you change the way you're getting emails and one of the ways you can do that is use incentives to get customers emails or other way or in other words incentivize customers with different things to get their emails and one of the ways you can do that is there's this super cool app called wheelio it's an interactive pop-up and the way that it works is uh, the customer can actually you know play uh, this spin a wheel you basically can play around with the coupon codes that you want but they can potentially win you know different coupon codes it can be like a 10 percent coupon 20 percent, 30 percent. you pretty much get to name you know the coupons that you want to give and the customer can play by spinning the wheel and whatever it lands on they get that coupon to get the coupon and obviously to qualify to be able to play the game they have to enter in the email emails are important because it gives you guys another way to follow up with your customer if they don't buy that one time or if they just came to your store and they don't buy, now you have another way to follow up with them because of that email. Every single email you collect is a potential sale at one point in time, right? They may buy right away, they might they may buy the next time you follow up with them, or it may take a few different emails for them to actually trust you and you know like your store and feel comfortable buying with you. But basically every single email you get is a potential sale because it's another interaction you have with another potential customer. Your store specifically should be congruent. What I mean by that is your images should be congruent. What I mean by that is I've seen some people store that they have basically images with all white backgrounds and then they have images with you know um, products with some type of background or sometimes a product being in use. If you notice within other websites they have everything congruent so if if they're gonna display images with you know people wearing their products all their images are or product images are with people wearing their products or if they're gonna have their product images with just the products and no background all of the images are with products and no background trust me incongruency can cost you a lot more than you think if you're gonna take the time to you know customize one product page and one product description make sure you do it for all of them don't just do it for one you don't ever want to cause any doubt in the customer's mind as to why they should get that product from your store if you're going to be wanting a promotion saying you know let's say store-wide free shipping 
today only make sure that on the product page you're also making it clear that they only get the free shipping today right you want to make sure that it's congruent it makes sense you want to make sure everything is congruent all the time one of the best ways you guys can uh you know add a you know increase the sales and conversion on the store is by having a countdown timer right for that urgency making it so that a customer knows that there's a specific, a specific time they can get that offer you want to make sure you don't have the timer or the, the the scarcity saying there's only a few products left on every single product because if you have it on every single product their customers are going to realize that this in reality isn't true so make sure again if you're going to use it you know on a product make sure you're you know you're keeping it to that specific product and offer that you're running traffic to don't use it on all of your products because it's going to make it not have the same effect as to you know the effect that has on the main uh, product that you're driving traffic to if you guys got any value from this video again make sure you leave me a thumbs up make sure you guys implement the things that we went over i know there may be some things that you may have already done but if there's anything else that you haven't done yet try it out and again just test it out well, the same things that work for us may not work for you but it never hurts to try it out i hope you guys got value from this video if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up leave me any comments below of any questions you guys have about obviously how to optimize your website and of course if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button join the v fam and i'll see you guys in the next video peace